All right, stone statue. What do we got going on here? The end of the hall you find a large stone statue of an imp. Although the placement of the statue is suspicious, it's clear that it is used as an altar of some kind. You found imps before wandering around freely, and this statue may have something to do with it. Examine carefully and see if you find some to find something useful. Forty-six percent. Smash the statue so it can no longer be used. Higher chance. We're gonna we're gonna examine it. We're not brutes. It's a fifty-fifty. Failure. All right. You notice some small loose stone. Upon closer examination, you discover that the stones are buttons, but it's too late. You've already pressed some of them in the process. A secret door opened behind the statue, but it also activated the altar, which summons imp to summon an imp. Okay, so we have to fight an imp. That's probably fine. Okay, you are you appear to be immune to poison. Okay. Noted. I do like that ability. That that sweeping strike is surprisingly impactful. Okay, we're already stealthed, so... This thing's probably going to summon imps. So we may need to start working on it, doing some damage. I think it's still probably wise to be putting damage in on the imps. <laughs> nice ba, Sheepo, my friend. Let the record show I'm not convinced that the that the sheep's name is Sheepo. That was a uh, perhaps an incorrect one. We have a lot of dispel magics. We haven't taken any damage, so I think we're good. You're gonna summon an imp, right? And you'll make the imps faster, okay. okay. So we probably want to focus there if we can. Now, who did I give the hunting ring to? You have the hunting ring. So this is an even better mark. We have enough for both, so I'll do that. And then we'll hope that we hit it some. Wow, okay, nice. For now, Blade Fury is not that interesting because of who's in front. I'll let Blur go, and I don't think we need the poison darts that much. Love seeing the barricade. I'm going to stop this guy from acting. I think that's probably better than the alternative, and then I'll toss that there. Okay, so we, I think we blur into a sneak peek into a Blade Fury. Might as well play the deflects. We definitely need, we're definitely struggling a bit on that part though. Hmm. Bad Ba. So this is this is safe. Uh, it was not safe. Just kidding. Everybody's full, so we're not getting anything out of these heals. We'll just stack up more. We do seem to need like a mana dump, probably. All right, so we ammunition to get. We can't play this. Uh, with adrenaline, we can play this. Sure. It's a lot, a fair amount of aggregate damage. I think that's probably okay. Delay response into dispelling. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, I like that. It's a good call. We're finally gonna have some da some healing to do. Amazing. 
see. Blur... Is it worth blurring into dual striking? Probably not. Well, with sneak peek, I think it might be. Didn't want to waste the poison. That was it was only two damage that this was gonna do. Good goodbye. There we go. Okay, we unlocked a new card. Eternal lullaby. Someday, someday stanza. Helping hand, no. I don't think we want any of those, so that's a no. Quick shot. Front monster deal eight damage for free. I could I could see that being interesting. Another dual strike. I think we'll be able to reduce our cards here pretty substantially. And then bulk heal. So bulk heal this time is equal to your discard pile times three. That seems like it's gonna be a pretty big heal. Yeah, let's grab that. Okay, so we go. We get to go in through the secret passage into the secret room. An ephemeral potion. A secret door takes you to a room with a large chest. You open the chest to find some items that might be useful. Among them, a bright orange potion catches your eye. As soon as you take the potion out of its chest, its contents begin to disappear. You don't know what it is, uh, if it is drinkable, but there's no time. Only one can drink it before it completely vanishes. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have our new guy drink it. When you drink the potion, you notice your body warming up. After a brief moment, you feel a surge of energy within you. Your body temperature drops again. You do not know exactly uh, what happened, but you believe this phenomenon will repeat itself again. Uh, okay, so this gives us a free thing that dispels fire, gives us energy and resistance. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Probably would have been better on the tank in hindsight, but that's okay. And we get some items. So right now you have some leather boots, which that's pretty decent. We could give a crystal ball to someone. We don't, nobody has leather armor at the moment, right? The agate amulet. Do we already have one of those? Piggy bank? Don't care about that. Round shield. We kind of struck out here. We can definitely... We can definitely give someone the crystal ball, but we're hoping to replace it soon. Then for the ring slot, everyone has... Well, okay, so you, I'm gonna give the agate. Just so you have a bit more HP. Then for armor, everybody has some armor. Everybody has a potion of some sort that is probably better. You can have the crystal ball, I guess. And then 70 and 70. All right. All right. So, oh, we have level ups to do. Uh, we like Wolfguard a lot, I think. Someday I'll build Magnus more aggressive. So subterfuge is stealth charges plus one when damaged by others gain one stealth and two speed or black talons. Self-targeted, uh, poison and that plus two, deal eight, apply one. I like black talons. That sounds fun. Sounds fun and, and like what we're looking for. I'm surprised our heroes leveled up at a different speed, but that's okay. Summoning ritual. Reach the end of the basement. Here you can see many cultists in a summoning circle. The summoning has begun. And from the number of cultists, it does not seem like just a normal imp will show up. They... They become aware of your presence near the ritual, and some cultists leave the circle to confront you. Cultists look at you suspiciously, waiting for an answer. Tell them you're new here and uh, help them with the ritual, <laughs> or draw our weapons and strike first. I think if you do character-specific events instead of team ones, you get more XP than the rest. Oh, interesting. Okay, I mean, let's pretend. What's this will be funny. <laughs> Fail. All right. The fight begins. That's okay. We tried our best. 
Okay, we like we like a barricade. We like some damage there. We like enrage. We like. We like I think we I think we like wolf guard, and then we can hack you. All right. Okay. Don't mind that. We probably won't get the kill, but that's okay. Let's let's deflect. So black talons plus blade fury, I think, is insane. We have five right now. I think we blur into black talon. Black talons blur than blade fury. Let's try it out. Nice. And then we still have a poison dart that's going to do a bunch of poison damage. That seemed exciting. Does look like they're they're self healing, so we may uh, they may not all die. Oh, something of an imp is annoying. Uh, healing rain would be super clutch here. Nice shot, Sheepo, McSheeperstein. No healing rain. We can we can dispel here though. Ammunition into we have two energy, so barrage isn't happening. Only burning shot, I think, is happening here. Well, wait. Oh, we have adrenaline, so we could do lethal shot. This seems pretty cool. Could we do barrage? I think we could if we wanted to. So this is 14 damage. Apply that three times. We could probably zap the middle guy completely with barrage. That'll be at least interesting. Oh, that was cool. Okay. We didn't get the, the back lady sorted out, but we should have some dual strikes on hand to, to take her down. Okay, not bad. We have no bleeds, so this isn't going to do us any good. I think we we have enough armor, so we do that. Alright, probably not ideal, because we, we should have done the debuff. Or we should we should have done the dispel on on ourselves. Alright, but we we live to fight another day. Skull Splitter. I don't think I don't think that's in the card for cards for us, especially since it's front monster only, that feels very hard to justify. Hey! By the way, uh Oh, is, is Twitch having issues at the moment? Hey, uh, Kunjano in uh, in Kickland, by the way. And then also Leechen. Hello and welcome. Sawtooth Knife. No, I don't think so. Uh, one more Shadow Mend I'll take. We're going to be removing a lot of our regular heals is my plan. So we will see. Okay, so let's see. Can I do my level ups now? All right, let's do that. Wild Hunt. We get, we got the Hunter's Ring. 
So let's do Wild Hunt. I think that's going to be very interesting. We're going to go like Mark Synergy there. We'll go, we'll go Focused Healing here as well. Okay, so the ritual ended. Room filled up with red smoke and the temperature rose rapidly. You don't know if uh, it went well or not, but all the remaining cultists uh, start to flee in panic after realizing what they've done. An impressive imp appears before you. It's the greater demon Belfior, the lord of imps. Uh, what do you want from me, mortal? Although he, uh, he's he been weakened by the precarious summoning conditions, you can't underestimate him. So we can leave 66%. Uh, he is weakened. Now is a good chance to attack. Or uh, maybe there's something we can do for you. I think we, uh, I think we fight the... Fight the imp, the imp boss. Fool. That's a lot of hit points, but I think I think the fact that we have poison might be uh, to our benefit. Or this might end badly. We have four, I think we do two poison shots here. Okay, so Blade Fury seems like the seems like the play here. This would allow us to do two Blade Furies, or we could do a Black Talon. Hmm. So wait, so how do we want to start this? We want to start this probably by using. I think we I think it's just killer instinct into double blade fury. I think Black Talons, while nice, doesn't quite Oh wait, we can do both, can't we? No, we're only at six. So yeah, so I, I think we just we just do this twice. Sad that we didn't get to use black talons, but twenty-seven poison is, is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I, I kind of figured he was going to be summoning imps, but that's okay. Let's see, you're vulnerable, so we can we can dispel that. I think we like we keep doing work there. We're, we're we're slow, so having a little like rollover is probably good. Let's see. <laughs> we don't we don't know if we're gonna get any value out of Wild Hunt, I fear. When you play a card for every energy used, apply one to a random monster. I guess we I guess we still go for it. Get rid of that. Alright, well, it was an okay turn. Okay, deflect. So we have four energy. I think two dual strikes is better than a blur into a sneak peek into a dual strike. Yeah. Lord of the Imps, we're uh, we're doing some work on him so far. Certainly, certainly you just put a lot of things in our deck, it seems. Can I get healing reins to remove all the burn, please? No. No, I can't. I can't do much. I, th I think I, I think nuking is the correct... The correct play there. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, quick shot's not gonna do much good. Neither is 
I guess we get rid of that, but we don't, uh, we don't make it all the way. You have three energy. Oh, these are the non-upgraded dual strikes. That's unfortunate. Okay. He just, he's just dead. Although, not before chunking us down pretty good. Okay, we got an achievement for killing Belfiore. Repeat four times. In With the sharpening thing, Pummel could be insane. I'll grab that. Backstab. Back monster. 20 damage. Apply that. I kind of like backstab. Uh, I like I like a binding heal, but I also like omen of peril. And then blunt damage isn't increased by sharpness. Good point, uh, stumbles. Good point. I would have uh, I would have made that mistake for sure. Okay, we loot the basement. We get some shards. We get some equipment, and presumably we're gonna get an equipment handout here. Okay. Searing Dagger, plus one to all of those. Shuffle a Searing Blast into your deck. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, so you you can get soap for the upgrade. Do we have anything better that we want? Uh, Silver Chalice is an easy one. It goes over here. Then I think I put the dagger here. Why not? Then I think we'll go we'll go soap here. And then I'm tempted to put reinforced armor here over the ranger armor. Because we'll probably see another one of them. Cloak of Evasion is also interesting. But I don't think it, it lasts very long. So I'm just going to go more HP. Now, I'm worried about where we're going to come out of this. I think we're pro we've are we probably missed our opportunity to unlock a, a hero. No, we haven't. How nice. Okay. So we'll go to the altar rubble. And then we'll go start the quest for whoever this is. What What is this floaty thing? Bayfor's Horn. Uh, this is the horn of the great demon. Someone may want this powerful item. Okay, so we'll come down. We'll come down here to the altar. Discover the rubble of an ancient altar. Uh, those altars are used for making offerings with magic shards to improve your skills. The altar appears to have been destroyed on purpose, and perhaps those who did so are still nearby. This altar is barely usable, and in order for the offering to work, you'll have to offer an additional amount of shards. Using the altar in its current condition will cost you a little more. So we can repair it, 75%. Uh, do not make an offering, but try to restore the altar to its former state. That's a 35. Uh, let's try and repair it. We have not been rolling well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to upgrade anything. We, I don't think we need to. We'll save our money. All right. What is this here? The Last Sentinel. You arrive at the Crumbling Watchtower. Uh, this watchtower was the first point of defense in the Wolf Wars against the Wild Werewolves of the West. Or of the Forest. Should have been Wild Werewolves of the West. Uh, when you enter the tower, uh, your eye catches the dim light and filters uh, under the rubble. It's a golem. Uh, they were the best defenders Cynthia has ever known, but they were dismantled after the war, and it was thought that there was no more left. The power supply seems to be damaged. Maybe if you can find a replacement, you can repair it. Let's see. I fought alongside one in the Wolf Wars. It was a good idea to restore it. Yeah, we'll do this. I remember how the queen assigned one of these to my group. Uh... They're fighting to take back the forest. It was a real battle machine. It helped us a lot. If I'm not mistaken, these golems originate from the Black Forge in the Velkareth Mountains. We should look uh, there for replacement core. Uh, as you hide the golem so that it does not suffer any more damage, you find some magical shards. Okay. All right. We're going, we're going to the horn thing. Story time. In the forest, you found a large open space that seems like the perfect place to rest for a bit before continuing your journey. As you go to set up camp, you notice a group of werewolves camping. They see you and offer to share the camp. One of them also says, hey, do you want to share some stories from your travels uh, with us while you rest? Do you want to share some stories? So let's see. So this is a defense card. Has to be drawn. So tell them how you defeated the greater demon Bayfor. I think I want to do this one. 
Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, you speak of the battle with the greater demon, uh, Bayfor showing his horn as evidence. They are really impressed with you and tell you their own story. Uh, they discovered that the Dryads have a large stash uh, in forest deeps where they keep all of their the items of dead adventurers who are lost in the forest. Uh, you rest for a while before continuing. Okay. So we can still come up and do Yager. Can we? Yeah, we could still do Yager if we wanted to. That seems like the best... That seems like the best path to maximize our value, because we gain stuff from doing that. So let's... I'm presuming that neither of these have, like, a quest marker. Oh, Forest Deeps. Wasn't that where they said the items are kept? You have located the legendary golden sheep. The last sentinel. That's the one, yeah. So we should we should come down here and try Forest Deeps, right? That's the continuation of the Bay 4. We've already done Yager. So we'll we'll come down here. We have a shop here. Uh, the werewolf stall. You come to a large stone arch in the middle of the forest. At one side of the arch, you see a stall run by a werewolf. You approach and say, hi. Hey, hey. Finally, customers. Come close. Look at my wares. Half of these items come from the bandits. I'm sure there is something interesting you might need. Oh, by the way, I didn't kill that boy over there. He was already dead this morning when I came to the stall. All right, so let's see. So we have draw skill card 12%. That's a bad idea. 35 or 66. So we can bargain, try and get a discount. Accuse him of killing the boy. You want a big discount. Uh, okay. Or buy his wares. So if this one fails, it's probably bad, but it's over 50%. So we'll try it out. We have terrible luck this run. Holy cow. Let's see. Uh, so we, ooh, we have leather boots. So we'll buy these leather boots to... Get the upgrade. Now, plus two speed. Awesome. Then we also have the reinforced armor, which we can pick up. Is there anything else we're interested in before I commit to this? No, I think we're I think we're good. The only other thing I'm eyeing is this Morning Star, which increases range damage. Nice. Yeah, so we could grab this for the range damage. And that would be way better than the crystal ball. Sure, let's spend our money. We're we're spending a lot of money, but I think it's probably for the best. Forest Deeps. Okay, so this is where the, the Dryads keep their stuff. You have a ton of hit points now. That's good for business. Can try and get this lady roasted, I think. Are plague shots just strictly better than poison shots? No, our poison shots, I think, are actually better. Well, I mean, th this is doing 15, this is doing 15. But this comes with less poison and then more decay. Oh, yeah, the decay might have been handy. All right, so we got backstab, which is interesting. We don't have a great turn for talons right now, so we should probably start with the sneak peek. This We keep our stealth when we do this, so I guess we, we do this, because if we play black talons, then we lose our stealth. Oh, are we? This is 53. Maybe we should just do ambush. We could zap you completely. Sure, let's just, yeah, let's just delete you. And then we might as well still play this, even though it's kind of. It's kind of a waste. It's, we're not going to redraw it anyways. Hey, Thorfinn! Oh, man, that is an incredible adventure. Good to see you. It's been a minute. How, uh,. How are things other than, than life clearly being uh, a very... There being some big things afoot. Let's see. I can do... 
I'll do that. We don't really have any value out of uh, out of that. So I'll just play that, and I guess we're done. Hmm. Hopefully we, we draw a barricade. All right, I think we're already invincible, so I'm not going to bother... I'm not going to bother playing the second barricade. That's excessive. I should have played Wild Hunt, or I should have played Expert Tracker before I played my Deflect. That's a... Uh, that's a smart one. Let's see. So for you, I don't think I want that. We'll keep Killer Instinct. I'm gonna let go of Blur. Cause I, I wanna get the back dryad dead before before we go any further. Okay. The the sheep is is loud <laughs> let's see all right didn't quite get the great we're not we're not quite in, like, Alpha Strike territory, but we're doing okay. I don't think Repair Armor is that. It might be good. We might run into something that makes it clear. I, I do want another Hunter's Mark, I think, strangely enough. Those I'll skip. And then... Yeah, those I'll skip. All right. Okay, there's some items still in good condition. Dryad's Cash. Uh, you're in the deepest part of the uh, Senenthia Forest, and uh, after clearing a path of Trunkies and Dryads, you went exactly where the adventure adventurers told you. There it is, Secret Cache. Uh, the story was true. It seems that the Dryads used the body of lost adventurers as fertilizer and keep all of their belongings in one place. How lovely of them. Okay. But some interesting things here, clearly. Do we have someone who has dirty bandages? I feel like I got rid of the dirty bandages. Combat starts speed, no, no. I don't think that's worth anything. This ring gains us some speed. We have the emerald necklace at the moment. I think we might want someone else to have more HP though. This is only a two HP increase, but we also get the speed out of it. That could be interesting. Do we want Cloak of Evasion over here? I think it's better. Put that there, and then... Reduce the cost of the highest song spell in your hand. So yeah, loot's not interesting. I think we're... I think we're done. We're certainly gonna have to do some removal at the next town, but it looks like it's time to take on Elmer. We don't need to rest, we're at full HP. Try to rest behind the tree. I, I guess we try and just catch him off guard. I don't think it's worth trying to do the ambush with a 34% chance. So we'll do this. Now I can't remember if he summons stuff. Call that good. Okay, let's get something awesome. 12 damage, yeah. Ooh, this ricochet looks interesting. <laughs> now, I want to see if I can force us to draw one more card. So I want adrenaline. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to play the last deflect. And we do get it. Okay, that's cool. Okay. I'm I'm thrilled about that. Okay. 
we love getting we love getting killer instinct shouldn't have wasted my uh I'm not sure if I'm I may be wasting my time by killing these uh these dryads before we uh before we go any further but kind of a dead draw here since everybody's full on HP. So, yeah, we need to we need to come up with a few damage cards for our healer. So, we want to quickly dispatch this guy. We only have three energy. Can I just do this and hope that we get the kill? It's very unlikely that we do. 13 and 2 bleed isn't quite enough. Uh, this does 17, so we'll just zap you that way. All right, and then we'll set up for the... Wait, that didn't kill you? Hello? <clears throat> Clearly I can't count. I thought that said 14 and we were doing 17, but... Really was hoping that the sheep would take this guy out. All right, what is our... We only have three energy, so it's just gonna be that into those two. Wow, that did a lot of damage though. That was not bad. Barricade, sweeping. At least we're gonna have some healing to do. That's the good news. Is that how I wanna say that? Let's see, we'll do that. We're getting a lot of marks stacked up here. It's clear. I think it's clearly a Blade Fury turn, but wow, I wish Black Talons was was a little bit cheaper. This guy does like some crazy moonbeam thing at some point. Maybe maybe next turn. I think this does more, or this this does more, but we take some damage. I'll still do it. We should have time to get a heal in. You have four energy. No, no draw options here. Should have uh, should have played the hunter's mark. Nah, I'm just gonna because I'm just gonna do. I think double plague shot here. All right. Then we just need to do some healing. Oh, no healing allowed. All right, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Okay, so Furious Slash is new, as is Battle Plan. Draw three, gain an energy, place two cards from your hand on top of your deck. Okay, Battle Plan seems insane. That's true, that is true stumble. Uh, or we have Furious Slash. Deal X damage. X is equal to your Fury. Yeah, okay. Battle Plan looks insane. Poison Spray is a ranged attack that on a random monster deals that. I kind of like Poison Spray. I think it fits well with our, with our setup. Volley feels a little too expensive. 
Oh, we can make it cheaper, too. I kind of like the idea of a cheaper poison spray. Volley does not get cheaper. Sure. We'll do that. Fan of knives. To all monsters, deal that. I mean, that is interesting. This fine weakness does become free when upgraded. That's what I was wondering. I don't care that much for the vision, though. Fan of knives gets more expensive. Renew. Ooh, renew is really interesting. An omen of peril. Reveal three... Fan upgrades do crazy things with sharp. Yeah, deal X damage and apply X poison. X is equal to your sharpness, but you only get to do it once. That is very interesting. I don't I don't know that we're going to have... Like, we still haven't found the sharp buff option. We'll, uh, we'll grab it as, as a maybe. Uh, profane. Purge one, deal 22. I was saying that I needed that, but I think Omen of Peril is just insane. It's so good for, for getting us to draw the things that we want to draw. And then now we got Elmer stuff. So you, this is a straight upgrade. We didn't take the slippers the last time. Now we have the rune stone. That's not interesting. We already have upgraded our, our armor. These are the better gloves. We'll put the better gloves here, I guess. I think this is better. Soap is a 60% chance to dispel plus 5 max HP. I think thorns regen and more max HP is better. So I will take that. And then 10% extra discount, I think, is better. So we'll take 100 gold. All right. Ah, so the obelisk. You find yourself at the obelisk. Uh, we have some choices. This time we're going red portal. Hot air. All right. Because we're following the quest. You cross the portal before you realize that you're in another place. 